G'day. Welcome to Unchained Thinker. I'm Justin. I've recently made a couple of videos uh, discussing the current health situation, predominantly um, with the focus on Australia. And I, I actually made another video um, pointing out some obvious questions about um, whether the fear is warranted and whether their attention could be focused elsewhere um, instead. Now that video was deleted almost instantly by YouTube and uh, after re-watching I'm trying to figure out exactly which boxes I ticked according to their um, community guidelines. Um, I'm surprised that my other videos have remained up for so long. <laughs> Perhaps I need to do a disclaimer uh, just to cover my butt and then post things perhaps as hypotheticals. So with that said, all of the views and opinions expressed in this video are my own. They do not necessarily, necessarily reflect reality. I am not a medical professional. This is not medical advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. With that said, let's have a look here. For the purposes of, his, purposes of this video, well, let me make sure I do a screen display. I always seem to try to forget that. Uh, so for the purposes of this video, I'm going to call the current um, body's detoxification process that people um, seem to think uh, cold and flu symptoms uh, from a from a bug, not a um, not a natural process of the body. Uh, so this particular detoxification, or if you want to think of it as a bug, uh, I'm going to call I'm going to call it Schmovid 91. So let's, for argument's sake, say that there was a disease called Schmovid 91 that happened to have around an average of a thousand deaths per year, which is what we currently see with a uh, detoxification process that people have labelled uh, that starts with a C. But we're going to use figures that are similar to this. We're going to come up with an average of 1,000 per year fatalities due to this new fictitious dis-ease that I've created called, as a hypothetical, Schmovid 91. 1,000 per year. Now, <clears throat> if you go onto the Australian Bureau of Statistics website, looking at uh, smoking, tobacco smoking is one of the largest preventable causes of death and disease, dis-ease, in Australia, with smoking estimated to kill almost 19,000 Australians per year. It's responsible for 9% of the total burden of dis-ease in Australia. 19,000 Australians per year. So that would be 19 times more than this fictitious dis-ease that I just created called Schmovid 91. Now, if I were um, in control of things, I would probably ban smoking instead of uh, causing people to do things to their body because of Schmovid 19, 91, I mean. So, I think you see where I'm going with that. 19,000 per year. Now, if we go here, uh, and also it says 9% of the total burden of dis-ease in Australia. Now, let's say this fictitious disease had a whole range of statistics that you could get from some website somewhere. Uh, and, I mean, this, these statistics, uh, I entered these based on a dis-ease uh, nearly a bit over a month ago. Um, but looking here, you have 0.71%, so less than 1% of Australians have been affected by this thing. 
However, smoking is attributed to 9% of the total burden of dis-ease. If we look at the death rate, all right, so let's say we had, um, that was 19,000, uh, hang on, equals 19,000 divided by, go away here, divided by that one there. Let's look at that as a percentage. Point oh seven percent. So the current fatalities due to, let's pretend this data is representative of an actual disease, and we will attribute um, the death rate of this data as 0.007%. Well, this is 0.07%. That's a, that's a big jump. That's, that's uh, the deaths to population caused by smoking every year. So if I were running things, I would certainly focus my attention on something that is preventable quite easily that would have would yield such bigger results. Another one you might argue would be alcohol. 1,452 people died of an alcohol-induced death. Well, the fictitious dis-ease that I just created for a hypothetical scenario called Schmovid 91 only has an average of about a thousand people a year. So alcohol is another one. So one might argue in this hypothetical situation that if this were actually about reducing the total fatality rate, then you might tackle issues that are far more easily preventable, such as making alcohol or smoking illegal. It's very possible because they're willing to shut down the economy when uh, health pandemics come along, then they could prevent a lot of health issues, arguably many, many more fatalities, by making alcohol and smoking illegal. If you look at the leading causes in Australia of the fatalities for the last, uh, well, currently, um, you get 2011, 2015, 2019, and 2020. As you scroll all the way down here, you find the focus of a current supposed health pandemic sitting at around 38th. Now, in a hypothetical situation, one might argue that there, were, there are 37 things that would warrant more of your time and attention than this. You know, but just saying. All in a hypothetical sense, of course. I'm just going to freeze frame on this image here because I don't want to use these words because I'm sure this will get deleted again. But if you follow closely on the fields that I'm highlighting, you'll see all of the other ones from 1990 until present. Only a little bit more. And if we go down to this one here, and again, we're looking at this field to this field of this, and then all the other ones from 1990 to present are only this. Wowzers. So, if you're going through a detoxification process and you would like to hypothetically add a substance into your body, straight into your bloodstream, essentially, not quite straight in, but uh, roundabouts, um, you know, that's your choice. This is not medical or uh, advice. These are my own views and opinions.
if you're starting to have questions raised, I would look at this man here, Dr. David Martin. He will run you through all of the patents. So if you want to follow the money, you follow the patents. If you follow the patents, you'll get to uh, some characters that may or may not be heavily linked with uh, severe... Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Vested interest, should I say, in, uh, in the outcome of people's decisions of whether or not they do this. There may or may not be major financial gain for certain people. Um, there's this guy here, Dr. Stefan Lunker and Dr. Thomas Cohen. If you look them up probably on BitChute, I'm sure that YouTube would have banned them by now, you will find um, great conversation about, um, you know, you know what a virus really is and this guy here is actually proved in a court of law in Germany in whatever their version of the Supreme Court is I think it's called the DHG or something it's the highest court that you can go, take a matter to he won proving that the um, live schmeasels virus doesn't exist I'm really not sure what I'm going to get pinged for so excuse my silly talking uh I'm going to wrap it up there because I was going to talk about um, a particular testing method for, let's say, a fictitious version of um, uh, Schmovid 91 and um, you would find a, a sentence here saying, since no quantified poison isolates of the Schmovid 91 were available for CDC use at the time, test was developed and this study conducted. Assays designed for detection of that were tested with characterised stocks of in vitro described full length RNA. So what that's telling you is they do not have the isolated version of this because it doesn't exist. In a hypothetical sense of course. Because I just made up this Schmovid 91 and uh, this is all telling you that they're just sort of guessing and making it up. Of course, uh, you know, do your own research. But the fact that they are targeting now um, in this fictitious world that I've created full of bad guys and good guys, uh, where this rampant... Schmovid 91 takes place where they're targeting these sorts of age groups where in statistics that I have created <laughs> uh, you've got statistically zero chance of anything bad happening you know it's ridiculously low um, you know when like I said Go, for, go target this one. That's really easy. Ban that crap tomorrow. Sorry for any of you that uh, like to partake in a puff. Just pointing out the facts. Anyway, hopefully this one makes it through. Otherwise, I guess I'll be banned for a week. Uh, I will put a, a link. Uh, I'm going to make a teaser video to my other version of the story so you can hear it uncensored it's less confuddled than this one um, anyway that'll do thanks for listening